All right, how many times have we heard the comparison? Trump very much resembles the Nazi leader Adolf Hitler. Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. Donald Trump as like Hitler. It's similar to a Nazi salute. They're, they're quotes from Hitler. So do you do you still support Trump? All these comparisons to Trump, it's like it bums me out. Any moment that I have to call Trump out for being uh, an inheritor to Hitler, I will. The last one, of course, most recently from Jill Soloway at the Emmys, writer director for the series Transparent because transgenderism is the cause du jour right now, and everything is transphobic, despite the fact that Donald Trump was so welcoming to the trans community that Caitlyn Jenner himself made Trump Tower his location of choice to take a dump. To be fair, Hitler did make exceptions for Jews who had to pinch a loaf. So as I was discussing, that I'm so sorry to interrupt, I just have to use the bathroom. Is it just a tinker or a drop in the dozen? Just a sprint. Well, all right then. Making it snappy. Thank you. Schnell, schnell, schnell. Too much of enough. He's a big softy at heart. Now listen, to compare your political opposition to literally Hitler is simply lazy. But to do it in this election, Trump isn't even the right candidate to pick. You ever listen to me? First and foremost, I'm in front of an economic policy. But those changing the law, business really, environment is lower. Let's come to the tax code and an immigration policy that welcomes people of all types of colors with open arms as long as they have a little considered and be productive with social benefits for people who come here illegally. Hillary Rodham Clinton has far more in common with self-avowed leftist socialist Hitler. As I've outlined in previous videos here and here, and I've actually gotten a lot of guff from YouTubers who uh, don't argue the point, merely say, well, what do you really think? Hitler was a leftist socialist? Yes! Yes, absolutely! Just because you say it flippantly doesn't make it any less true. So we're not just talking about rhetoric or clickbait headlines, but substantive policy commonalities. So for that, between Hitler and Hillary, let's dive a little deeper. Now, aside from socialist actually being the Nazi party's name, uh, the party has far more in common with big government Democrats of today than free enterprise advocating conservatives. Let's start off with economic policy. Right off the bat, fiscal policy, Hitler as left as could possibly be expressly targeted wealth. Yes, to start off with, it was Jewish wealth. We will go where the money is! The Judens, and only the Judens! So a lot of people try to excuse this as nationalism versus leftism, because he would never do that to the non-Jewish German people, except he did. Except, maybe not only Judens, maybe some of you too, yeah. When the Nazi regime didn't have enough to cover the tab for building up their military amidst World War II, uh, they decided to hit most German groups with a 50% surtax as well. So on the surface, rhetorically, that's very clearly much more comparable to Hillary Clinton. We're going after where we think the real money is, as we say, follow the money. And the tax system uh, has been, in my view, not uh, effective in capturing uh, money from people who are very successful and we need to do a better job. And just like Hitler didn't get enough money from the Jews, Hillary can't get enough money from the wealthy, so this happens. We are going to raise taxes on the middle class. Solely focusing on the racial identity politics does not erase the overarching and consistent far-left economic policies instituted by Adolf Hitler. Outside of taxes, what else did he do with his far-left fiscal policy? Well, he suspended the gold standard, he increased government projects to a mammoth amount, like instituting job programs, the Autobahn, expanding credit, bulldozed many private companies on prices and production decisions, created a national health care and unemployment insurance program, and eventually, of course, ran huge deficits. Just how non-right-wing was this economic policy? Well, so much that Keynes himself praise the Nazis' economic program. John Maynard Keynes wrote, The theory of output as a whole, which is what the following book purports to provide, is much more easily adapted to the conditions of a totalitarian state than is the theory of production and distribution of a given output produced under the conditions of free competition and a large measure of laissez-faire. No, I'm not saying Keynes was a Nazi, nor that Hillary Clinton was a Nazi. Simply that your comparisons between Trump and Hitler are asinine. Let's move on to another point that leftists ardently argue gun control. There's no way around it. Yes, Hitler enacted gun control. Yes, he used the registry to disarm Jews. And yes, he used it to kill political dissidents. In the spirit of transparency, let me provide you with the argument that the left will use against this fact. The leftist argument as written here is, meanwhile, many more categories of people, including Nazi party members, were exempted from gun ownership regulations altogether. The law did prohibit Jews and other persecuted classes from owning guns, but this should not be an indictment of gun control in general. Yes, it should. See, people 
will try and argue, well, it wasn't really gun control because the Nazis were allowed to have guns. It was only the Jews, so that's not real gun control. By the way, it wasn't just the Jews, it was anybody who disagreed with Hitler. Just so happens the Jews had more qualms than most. Correct! I still have my vault of... What happened to my PPK? Don't tell me they discontinue. Thank you. The PPQ has a better trigger. Oh, you don't say. Well, maybe I'll give it a shot. The references are available at louderwithcrowder.com. Even in arguing against it, the left fails to see that the back door in through gun control allows any administration, maybe not this administration, maybe not Hillary Clinton's administration, but the next one to use it to selectively disarm dissidents. Liberty isn't merely a passing concept. It needs to be protected for generations to come. Compare those policies with Hillary Clinton's view on the Second Amendment. If it is a constitutional right, then it, like every other constitutional right, is subject to reasonable regulation. Sig hail, thunder thighs. Let's move on to abortion. It's no secret that Hillary Clinton is a huge, if not outright rotund, supporter of a woman's right to abort her baby. The unborn uh, person uh, doesn't have constitutional rights. Can you guess Hitler's view on abortion? Guess? Here, making yourself useful. No, not that one. I need the. I need. It has to be my people. I'll only allow that mistake once, my little schnitzels. Get it right. Okay. Found in Harvest of Hate. They may use contraceptives or practice abortions, the more the better. In view of the large families of the native population, it could only suit us if girls and women there had as many abortions as possible. Listen, it's no secret that eugenics were an integral part of the Nazi regime, and it's no secret that they were integral in the modern abortion movement as spearheaded by Margaret Sanger. It's so not debatable, Hillary Clinton was forced to acknowledge it whilst giving Margaret Sanger praise. I admire Margaret Sanger being a pioneer in trying to empower women to have some control over their bodies. And I deplore statements that you have referenced. Brings us to another point, the First Amendment, freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Now, I'd be lying if I said that Donald Trump's rhetoric on libel laws and going after journalists uh, doesn't worry me. He hasn't quite outlined it as policy, but that's a fair criticism that I think one can make. But Hillary Clinton is every bit as bad and then some. I know I'll get crap for this because many of you like to parrot talking points and have no understanding of the case. Citizens United was an answer to a very specific question. It was whether a movie created specifically to be critical of then-Senator Hillary Clinton legally had the right to be released on pay-per-view within 30 days of a primary. Under the Bipartisan Campaign Finance Reform Act of 2002, it was banned. The justices struck it down, ruling that the First Amendment, yes, protects political speech. That's bullshizing! To think that Citizens United is wrong is to say that people, when they become companies, do not have the right to political speech. And films like this could be outlawed. That's why Hillary Clinton is against Citizens United. The film was about her. It was about her corruption. Of course she's going to be against it. That's why Hillary Clinton following super PACs pay millions of dollars to police social media and fight back on critics on Twitter and YouTube. Yes, really. Which brings us back to the big picture. Policy-wise, the idea of valuing and prioritizing the individual versus that of the state. And listen, I've tried to support Donald Trump when I think he's right and criticize him when I think it's fair. But the consistent pattern of not only Donald Trump, but the Republican platform of less gun control, of less taxation, of less control over the economy is not indicative of a fascist who wants to take over your individual lives. But Hillary Clinton? Correct. To raise a child, it takes a right. Someone who personally and is running on the platform of more gun control, of higher taxation, of bigger regulation, of more intrusive government, of giving them more control over your lives. Again, even if it's not them who becomes tyrannical, you're opening the door and allowing the next guy or woman or Z to be. So what, Stephen, are you trying to say that Hitler wasn't really right wing and he would have more in common with the left like Hillary Clinton? Yes! Yes! That sounds about right. Yeah, what's hard about this? I know, some of you are going to be mad that liberal is in the tags here, but YouTube doesn't have a tag for leftists. Sorry, take it up with the demonetizers, but if you like this video, subscribe or click one of these videos playing next to me. One of them's a mystery box. Oh, what is it? What is it? Is it Hitler stuff? Is it cat stuff? Maybe it's more Crowder stuff. Nobody knows. You've got a decision to make.